Hi, uh, good afternoon. I'm here with uh, Dr. Ann Curtis uh, from the University of Buffalo. Um, she's going to speak to us a bit about her experience with EP. Um, it's a field that I'm leaning towards and interested in, and I think a lot of people this would benefit as well. Um, we had the pleasure of speaking to her at a table in our um, mix and mingle session here at, F uh, here at ACC. Um, so just to start, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got involved in EP? Well, I uh, for, got my EP training at uh, Duke a long time ago, and when I got out of there, I went down to the University of Florida, and I started their electrophysiology program, so I was one of those people that had the opportunity to start programs way back when, but uh, spent um, almost 20 years there uh, as director of electrophysiology. I've since moved on, and I was the head of cardiology down in Tampa, and now I am chair of the Department of Medicine at the University of Buffalo. Well, that's, that's an extensive experience, and it would benefit us a lot to have you here. Um, so what are some of the, the, the tips you'd give to us as people aspiring to be EP fellows? What, what would you, some tips you'd give us? Well, you know, I, I think EP is a great field. It is a great combination of intellectual stimulation. It can be challenging to diagnose arrhythmias. Uh, and uh, you also get the chance to fix them. Uh, we have a lot of technologies we can use. So it's an interventional specialty with a lot of uh, use of your cerebrum, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, so that's fun. And I also think there's a lot of um, variety that you can do anywhere from outpatient management to device follow-up to consultations to being in the invasive lab. So it's a nice variety of activities that you get to do. Um, thank you. And in terms of the future of EP for us aspiring to do it, where do you see the field going in the next five years? So, well, there's uh, plenty, still plenty to be done. Uh, a lot to learn about arrhythmias. Uh, we will continue to be doing a lot with atrial fibrillation, ablation, and device therapies. So none of that's going to go away. So we have a continuing need. And with a uh, population getting older and the amount of heart disease we have, there is a lot of need for people who are experts in arrhythmia management. Well, thank you so much for your time. Those You're are welcome. Great answers. Thank you so much.